I'm here with Leonid Stillman, CEO of Viewfinity. How are you doing? Nice to have you with us. I'm doing well, thank you. How are you? Doing well. Um, so his company uh, provides privilege management security practices. So first, can you get into the difference between white listing, gray listing, and black listing? Yeah, the white list is the list of applications or sometimes executables which you want that your employees will use. So everything which is related to business. The blacklist are maybe some uh, bad applications or applications may be good but not for business purpose. But there are always some applications which neither white nor black. And this is the gray list. Mm -hmm. And how does this pertain to filtering out you know, potential zero days um, and advanced attacks. And do you have an example of, I guess, how an intruder has kind of scaled the wall once they've gotten, you know, a privilege uh, access? Yeah. The, the first of all, if you the something in the white list, then you hundred percent sure that everything is okay. The same with the black list, nobody will do any damage to you. This application simply will will not run. In the gray list. The application will run, and in order to minimize the damage, you need to put it in some kind of restrictive mode. Uh, for instance, no administrative privileges for such application. Such applications cannot go and access any corporate network. And uh, all this will limit the damage that can be done by those grey list applications. Now, what, what intruders are doing? They are going to, into privilege, trying to find privilege account. When they found privilege account on the end point, they are trying from this privilege account to get to the privilege account on databases or important corporate application. And then the great damage can be done to the organization. So carbon privileges or making least privilege environment is very important. We hear a lot about this spear phishing emails and uh, an intruder Googling someone or using freely available information on LinkedIn to get enough information to send that email that gives them the in. But what other things are people doing? What else have you seen? Sometimes they are doing uh, very simple but very effective things. For instance, they have a program or they are uh, some kind of phishing uh, application which is looking for hidden administrative accounts. Accounts that somebody created maybe a year ago for testing purposes and have password uh, AB123. Uh, taking over this hidden account, which even the owner of the computer have no idea that exists, from this account they are going up and up in scale and they can take over even uh, of uh, active directory of organization. Mm -hmm. And are people using credit card information as well? Or? Oh yeah, sometimes they are using, you know, on the internet is considered that the last four digits of credit card will never help uh, to verify what is the credit card number. But sometimes it's not needed. Once you know four last digits of credit card, you can identify yourself, for instance, for iTunes, mm -hmm. and then take over an application and wipe out uh, computer and you do, can do a lot of other things. So those small things can be sometimes more efficient than sophisticated viruses. Mm -hmm. You're talking about advanced attacks. Uh, forensic analysis has become a big thing. Can you expound a little bit more on that? Yeah, it is very important to understand not only which particular application or executables hit your system, but how it's happened. It is not a trivial task, so you have to understand that this executable was spawned or was born from another executable which came to you from this uh, user and this user received it from this particular account on the internet. So to have forensic information is important also for, uh, for both for protection and of course for investigation for the future. So it's a very important part. It is difficult to establish, but some companies are doing this. Thank you for being with us. Again, this is Leonid Stillman with Viewfinity. Uh, please join us next time.